Hey, hey uh, back on Twitch with Monkey Island from my original Amiga 500. And today we are hopefully, I think, playing the final part. Uh, let's start up the game as we do. And let me bring the chat to the front because Windows always puts it in the back as soon as I click on something. Hey, gentle beer, bear, not beer. I was thinking beer. <laughs> gentle bear. Guten Abend, Saint Kaede. Retro Tech Dan, hello. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind a beer. Uh, that's why I said it. I, I, I think, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not drinking on stream except for for special occasions. <laughs> Went to Rumba is here, and we're streaming together. Or when I've had a particularly bad day, which I didn't have today, it was quite a an okay day. Yeah, this takes a while because it's a real Amiga and a real floppy disk. Hey, Daniel's back. <laughs> yeah, you're very, very on time. It's great. No, no fast load cartridge in my Amiga. I think there were actually there were a couple of um, fast load, not not cartridges, but I think I remember like a fast loader, but that didn't work very well wasn't compatible with anything really so yeah let's just i think yeah let's just have the intro one more time i just love this <laughs> Yeah, more RAM. That would be nice. Hello, Lars. Good evening. But I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. This machine is like very, very basic on purpose because it is my original machine with the original setup that I had when I first played this, which is the Amiga 500 with one megabyte of RAM. Yeah, the future looks bright. <laughs> Hello, Geek. Hello, Monkey Boys. Ellen No. Hello, Ellen No. Hello, Fmatic. <laughs> the future orange. No, it's more like a banana. Oh, I was just worried the green screen would respond to the banana, but it doesn't. It's not green enough. It's enough yellow. It's yellow enough. So let me insert my game, my save game disk. I bought some bananas for the stream. <laughs> Select a game to load. Ah, oh, there we go. Ghost ship. Yeah, uh, yesterday we left uh, after entering the gigantic monkey head on Monkey Island and uh, finding our way, uh, way through the um, through the maze below to the ghost ship where the chuck is located, I think. And where we are, we are on the mission to uh, find a magic, magical route uh, which the cannibals on the islands need to uh, brew, a special brew to defeat the ghost pirates. Oh, you gotta go already, okay. <laughs> Have a nice whatever you're doing. Probably the kid. See you soon, anyway. <laughs> Is 
so we should be yeah we are back at the ghost ship and i think if we just enter the ghost ship it's not gonna work the inconsiderate child needs a bath <laughs> so enjoy both of you yeah they are in a way they are defeated but uh they are uh i think the modern term is undead <laughs> Hello, Lemmy Meek. So let's enter the ghost ship. I think this is not going to work because they are instantly seeing me. And uh... <laughs> ooh. I've come to interrogate the prisoner. Is that a Star Wars reference? I'm not sure. Is this the leader dog? Oh, you wouldn't happen to have a root I could borrow. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> okay, the ghost pirates are no fun to be around if you are not a ghost pirate. Thanks for hosting, De Friselle. That's very kind of you. And I made this little gift there too. <laughs> so everybody has a little laugh. Uh, yeah, the thing I have to do now is, I think, is to talk to the head of the navigator. And talk him into giving me his necklace because the necklace makes me invisible to ghosts. That's the plan. I don't exactly remember how to do that, but I think I can talk him into giving it to me. <laughs> okay, we're here. Now, what do you want from me? <laughs> Hello, head. I'm just gonna be polite. Hello. May I please have that necklace? Oh, thank you. We're going to be ultra extra polite. Thank you for leading me to the ghost ship. Hey, no problem. When you only have one job, you do it well. Know what I mean? <laughs> Are you a World of Warcraft player? They just announced classic release date. Oh, no. I'm not at all a World of Warcraft player. I never I never actually played it. I, I watched videos of it and stuff. My sister is, used to be a huge uh, World of Warcraft player, but I never got I was I, I never got into it on purpose um because I thought it would I would get too deep into it and would would waste way too much time. Uh Guybrush Threeput, hello. Uh, does your original A500 setup not have a second floppy? Yes, it has. But, uh, yeah, I already put a disk in there because I have, I think at the moment, disk, disk, disk. Yeah, I have an amazing lisp. Uh, disk 3 and disk 4 are in the drives, respectively. Uh, thanks again for leading me to the ghost ship. Well, it's been nice. May I please have that necklace? No, but thanks for asking so politely. Oh, come on, please. Why can't I have it? I've got a bad feeling about this place. That's a Star Wars reference. I think I might need it. Oh, come on, please. You can back all you want, but you can't have it. Yes, I can. Pretty please. You can back all you want, but you can't have it. Pretty, pretty please. With sugar on top. You can back all you want. I think I can back with sugar on top. <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> and now he's going to give in, I think. Oh, all right, you big baby. You can have it. Hey, what's what good's a necklace if you don't have shoulders? 
pretty, 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 pretty pleased with Sugar on Top. Yeah, sometimes this works. I think in real life it won't work, but uh, yeah. Use necklace on navigator. Yeah, so I have this blue magical, this feels weird, shimmer around me and I think I am now invisible to ghosts. Which is, of course, uh, pretty handy f when you're entering a ghost ship full of ghosts. <laughs> so they shouldn't see me now and I can walk around pretty freely. I love that there's a ghost dog as well. It's, like, it's really... It's pretty funny. And the guy's playing with his head all the time. Ah, there we go. I'm pretty. I'm very invisible. So, there's the ghost dog. I think I can't pass the ghost dog. Because he smells me. I better leave him alone. Okay. Can I go to the door? Yeah. Can I open the door? Yeah. Let's explore. This part I don't really remember much of, but I, I think I'm, I'm gonna pick it up pretty quickly. Oh! Right in the Chuck's cabin. Ah, there's the key we need for something. Captain's bed. I think we can use, like... We have this compass that um, Stan gave us, and I think it says there's a huge magnet in it, basically. We can, I think we can use it to get the key, if I remember correctly. Yes. <laughs> that was a nice trick. Now we can leave quickly. I think we don't have anything to do in there. So let's go. I don't. Let's go down. I think down to the hatch there. Don't really remember where exactly to go from here, but oh yeah, that's nice. He's got a, he's a sleeping ghost crew. Can't do anything here. Yeah, he's got a bottle that we need later on. I remember that. And I think... <laughs> There's the ghost animals, ghost chickens, ghost pigs. So, there's another hatch. Ghost feather. I need a ghost feather later. So much for sure. So, ghost feather. There's a glowing crate, and I think... Look at glowing crate. I don't see anything special about it. Except that big glowing voodoo anti-root inside. There's our root we need. There's 25 people watching. Hello, 25 people watching. Hope you enjoy the show. Um, I picked up where we left yesterday, in the secret of Monkey Island, on my original Amiga 500. It's locked tight. Must be something important down there. Probably so. Do we have something that we can open this with? I don't think so. Noteworthy rock. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. That doesn't seem to work. I don't know if we can open it. I don't know if we can open it yet. So we have the feather and I think... I think the feather can be used to tickle the sleeping guy here. Sleeping ghost crew. I kind of remember that we have to tickle his feet. So he... I think he drops the bottle or something, or he leaves. At least I can pick it up then. Let's see. Huh? Did he, did he do anything? 
paste feather with Ah yeah now we got him. Okay. Jug or grog. Pick up grog. Grog will come in handy. Okay, so we can probably with the grog we can probably open a locked door somewhere. Like this one maybe. Oh, that's the creaky door. What was that? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm a bit terrified. So I have to, I think I have to oil this door. Can I oil it with the grok or something? Hey, haze maker. Nice, you could join. I think I'd rather save it. Yeah. But for what? I can, I think, I can do the same trick on this dog that I did on the um, piranha poodles uh, at the governor's house previously. If I still have the the yellow um, flower, no, I don't. Wow, I really don't remember much of this. Oh, what a Menos, spiders, cannonball, skull, head of the navigator, necklace, key, ghost feather, jackal rock. Can I open something with the key? What can I open with the key? Chest. Look at chest. Oh, fear for the life, ye who enters. Strange places, strange noises. <laughs> Can I go to the other chest? No, I probably can't. Arr, what be that noise? Strange places, strange noises. Yeah, no, I can't go anywhere there. So let's go back. So there's another pilot. Drunk ghost. I better leave him alone. Can I give him the grog or something? No, I can't leave him. Click on him. Okay, so let's go. Let's go down again, I guess. And find out what to do there. We have the key. Maybe we can open something with the key. Here. I really don't remember what to open with the key. Ghost pigs. Can I open the glowing crate with the key? Probably, possibly, maybe. Use key in glowing crate. This key doesn't seem to fit in there. Yeah, okay. Can I open the other hatch with the keys? With the key. Ah, okay, I can open the hatch. What's down there? Rats. Walk to dish. There's grease. Okay, grease to. for the. the creaky door so we can probably give them something to eat I, I don't think I can go through there no yikes I hate rats uh, what do we give him grog should we give the rats some grog <laughs> okay that seems to work so I can pass the rats and go to the grease and pick up some grease. Can I just pick up grease? 
Yeah, it's all over my hands. Okay. Anything else of interest here? No, not really. Okay, let's go up again. So now we are going back to the to the noisy door. We can use the glob of grease <laughs> as it's appropriately titled. There, probably. Squeaky door. Use glob of grease on the squeaky door. That should do it. This should stop it from squeaking. Okay, open the squeaking door, which is hopefully no longer squeaking. Yes. Let's see what's going on in there. Oh, there's a sleeping pirate. A ghost guard, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Walk to ghost tools. Yeah, some ghost tools to open the crate. <laughs> oh, good. More inventory. <laughs> Look at ghost guard. He's asleep. Yeah. Can I use the grog? on the lock again. I think I'd rather save it. Look at Brick. Hey, I bet the governor's in there. So how do I get the... Hmm. Let's get the... Let's, let's get the root first. I think something is triggered by that, that maybe. I don't quite remember this part, as I said repeatedly, but most of it's still still there something uh, somewhere in my brain. So I think I can use the ghost tools on the ghostly crate, glowing crate. And open it that way. This should do it. <laughs> clang, clang, bang, bang. Hi, Dumbledax Poeten. It's an honor that all the streamers are here in my stream today. <laughs> Pick up Glowing Crate. No, look at Glowing Crate. There's, I want to pick up the root. I just grab this old root and be on my way. Yeah, voodoo root, okay. So... So can I... Can I... Can I just go? I have the root. And then I can return to the cannibals and possibly come back and defeat the pirates. A long walk, a brief row, and a short hike later. <laughs> So we should be back at the, the cannibal village now. Because they um, gave us the mission of um, getting the root. So there we are. There they are. I did it. I got the root. Wow. Look, he's not kidding. Here it is. He's not such a wimp after all. Come on, let's go make the brew of the fermented root. Wait here, we, we'll be right back. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd love to have this now. I got the root. <laughs> there it is. One squirt of that stuff and the ectoplasm really hits the fan. <laughs> and if you have any left over, it's delicious with a little vanilla ice cream. Good luck. Thanks. So let's let's return to the uh, ghost ship, I guess. With the magic seltzer bottle. After some more furious paddling, we arrive back. Oh, we arrive back at the disc change. Disc two. I think it's not very long until we finish the game, isn't it? Oh! Eep! You scared me half to death! But he is already dead. Balmy weather we are having, isn't it? You have a taste of root beer, you evil spirit. No, I'm gonna ask him first before I give him root beer and kill him again. What happened to the ship? They all left for the wedding. What wedding? The Chuck is marrying the governor of Mealy Island. What? But how will they... <laughs> I think that joke is not in the German version. <laughs> Why are you still here? My head fell into the lava there and I had to chase after it. And when I came back they had gone. Shame too, I hate to miss the wedding. Where is the wedding? There is a lovely church on Mealy Island. They are headed there. Mealy Island? Oh no! I give up. I'm tired of chase chasing them everywhere. <laughs> no, of course not. I've got to go after them. Because Guybrush is a real hero. I've got to stop that wedding. Bye. My crew. Oh, there you are. We've been looking all over for you. Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi, guys. <laughs> That's a pirate they knew when he was alive, obviously. Uh, how did you get here without using the head? What? Er. Uh, well, I meant that is, you don't seem to have a head and. What? Eh, <laughs> uh, ooh. Never mind. We've got to get back to Mealy Island. No kidding. Yeah, we're out of sunscreen. Come on, let's go. That was easy. See you, Bob. <laughs> and disc three again. The last part. The disc one. Okay, so disc one is probably Mealy Island again. Banjo Guy Oli. Hey Oli. Thanks for following. <laughs> yeah, three external floppy drives would make sense. Well, that was certainly easier than the trip to Monkey Island. I wish those guys hadn't been so excited about getting sunscreen. <laughs> now I have to stop the wedding by myself. Okay, so I'm all by myself. Hey, Oli, that's cool that you are visiting. Uh, 147 pieces of eight and a magic seltzer bottle is all I have. So we have the anti-ghost uh, medicine. 
and some money. I think that's all I need, really. Whoa! Yikes! Hey! Wait a second. I'm selling this fine mouthwash. Want to see any trick? Swill this creepy crawly. <laughs> I'm going with the polite way again, I guess. Could I interest you in some root beer, sir? Root beer? Oh boy! I love root beer! There. <laughs> cool. That worked nicely. There's a puddle of uh, ectoplasma. <laughs> that's all of that's left. Insert this too, oh no. So. But I kind of love the disc changes because it, it, uh, the suspense grows with every disc change. <laughs> oh, there's another pirate. I can use my magic salsa bottle. Or I can, I think I can run through these doors back there. Should I do that? I'm not a killer. Not even a ghost killer. So, there we are. What happened to the pirates that were standing here? Hmm. It's probably there are ghost pirates now as well. So there's the church. Sure. Yeah, we should go to the church right away. Stop the wedding! The drama. If there be any man with reason that these two uh, people should not be united in blissful matrimony, let him speak now or forever hold his peace. The groom isn't a gentleman, the groom isn't a human, Elaine. Stop the wedding. <laughs> the groom... Oh, hey, who's that? I couldn't even say anything. I waited for too long. El Dodin. Yeah, fix your disk drive. That's very much recommended. <laughs> I've come to stop you from mar marrying Governor Mali. Please don't kill me. Take this, you vaporous voodoo vermin. I've just remembered an appointment at the dentist's. No, I'm, I've come to stop you from marrying Governor Mali. How do you plan to do that? <laughs> and there she is. Governor! Governor! Governor? What's going on? Oh, Guybrush, you mad fool. I'm impressed that you came to rescue me, but it really wasn't necessary. I had everything well in hand. Unfortunately, your arrival has made it necessary for me to tip my hand early. How? Who? But... I thought LeChuck was going to marry you. Yes, so did I. Yes, so did he. But I arranged for a little surprise when it came time to kiss the bride. If you are here, then who's that in the dress?
a bunch of monkeys. What? Don't scare them. They have my ghost zapping root beer bottle. Oh, I'll get it. Ah, there they go. Oops. Nice going, Guybrush. Now I've got to chase them down to get my voodoo root beer back. But I... Uh... Hey! You dare to come here and confront me? I can't believe your audacity. Well, I can't believe your stupidity. That's like insult sword fighting again. Yeah? Well, I can't believe your frivolity. Yeah. Validity, enormity, atrocity. Yeah? Well, I can't believe your mobility. I can't believe your felicity. Yeah? I can't believe your fragility. I can't believe your enormity. <laughs> I grow tired of you. Uh, say, now, let's not be hasty. Whoa, that was some punch. Big box set of Monkey Island for 17 pounds. That's a bargain. And Guybrush Threepwood bought a Monkey Island 1 copy as well. <laughs> nice. No, it's just loading. You didn't lose screen, I think. Or did you lose all together? Did you lose me too? <laughs> no, this was just a joke. Pow! Okay, he's hitting me. And I'm flying all over the island. No, we didn't lose screen. Okay. <laughs> I was panicking for a bit there. Biff. It was going so well, the last streams. But the setup, as I said, repeatedly, I'm pretty new to this. Atom Smash, you have a confession to make. Your disc died. No, let's so my disc doesn't die. Atom Smash, I grew up in this era of computers, learned to code and play games in the 8 and 16 big generations, but I've never played this game. Whoa! You should definitely play this game. Good to see you, son. How's the ship? If you're interested in trading up, I can give I can give you a fair price for it. Howdy, partner. You know, just by looking at you, I can tell you're a real man of the world. A man with an eye for quality. <laughs> a man who knows a good bargain when he... <laughs> now he tries to get me out of the the uh, grog machine. And there he got me. Okay. Can I pick up the root beer bottle there? Pick up the root beer. Use root beer with the chuck. Insert disc 4! <laughs> That's a nice disc change. Okay, I think this is practically the end of the game. Yay! Urk! Gasp! Choke! Ay! And he's exploding! Hey, Mindplay Retro! Good evening! <laughs> now the instant replay. You're right! Uh, in time for the great finale. Hazenmaker is hosting my stream. Thank you. I. We just defeated Lichuk. <laughs> the blimp cam trademark. Kaboom. Wow. Yeah, I love this this finale scene. That's Lechuk's head. Lechuk has le died again. Yeah, definitely. It's 
zurück. And it is too. Ah. So I really need four drives next time I play this. And I already announced that um, should I play Monkey Island 2, I'm not going to, going to play it from discs. Yeah, there's some nice fireworks. Let's enjoy the fireworks. I should play it from discs. It's like 11 discs. This is, that's gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, discs are much more authentic. Although I believe the when Monkey Island 2 was out, I already had a hard disc. But I don't quite remember. Hey, yikes. Don't sneak up on me like that. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Oh, can't get the disc changes right. Okay, this two goes in this drive and the second drive. Let's see. Gotta love the disc. You know, LeChuck was a very divine, deviant, obnoxious, slithery, creepy, crawly sort of a guy. But I'll say one thing for him. What's that? He sure looks nice exploding against the night sky. Yes, it's very romantic. Can I buy you a root beer? Ah, <laughs> oh, I love this. I have too many dead discs, practically gave up and resorted to hard drive. Yeah, these these um three and a half inch floppy discs um die pretty pretty frequently for me too. But actually most of the old discs still work. And I bought some some new old stock uh, double density discs and copied uh, this from from uh, like ADF files onto these. So these are fresh discs. So uh, I didn't worry too much about these discs. I wor worried more about the drives actually because the disc drive disc drives break all the time too. Um, actually, I'm a bit sick of root beer. Yeah, you still can get them. I just bought them on eBay from some seller. You can still get them at some places, I think. Yeah, this doctor... The, the discs are basically physically damaged. At least I learned something. What's that? And now you can say, never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. <laughs> And I remember in German it was like um, 119 marks, which was exactly the price of the game when it came out. How to deal with frustration, disappointment, and irritating cynicism? It's not the size of the ship. No, I just I'm just going to go with the first one. How to deal with frustration, disappointment, and irritating criticism? That sounds like something my husband would say. Yikes! Isn't that romantic? We finished the game! The Secret of Monkey Island Featuring Spiffy as the dog in the bar First game I finished on Twitch <laughs> Noah Farstein Everyone else at Lucasfilm Games Additional, additional, additional design <laughs> Orson Scott Card Sword fighting insults yeah, the geek, you missed all of it. Oh no. Art and animation for disc 22, which doesn't exist. <laughs> Bulletproofing and radiation shielding. Uh, public radiation, okay, that's normal stuff. David Fox was director of operations. I actually tweeted a bit with um, David Fox when I tweeted that I had a, a pirated copy of Zack McCracken on my C64. He instantly um, tweeted at me and said, hey, you can buy it now to make up for it, to clear your karma. 
And I said, no, 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 I bought it later for my Amiga and he um, gave me his absolution. So, <laughs> additional testing. Finally bought 286. That's how old this game is. 286 was, was um, the thing. Cop and Seagull appear courtesy of Loon. Soundtrack not available on CD, cassette or LP. Is there... I, I wonder if there is a soundtrack now, a Monkey Island soundtrack, from of the, the modern uh, incarnations of the, the soundtrack. How do you hook up the Amiga to your streaming machine? What kind of capture card are you using? I'm um, using, using one of these um, cheapish Flylink upscalers and uh, uh, Elgato Game Capture HD 60S. Turn your computer off and go to sleep! <laughs> no, I won't, because I remember that after this flashes for a couple of times, there's something else that's pretty funny, I think. We're just going to let this run until the very end. Uh, no, the Flylink upscalers are not very good, but they are not. They are like 30 euros or something, so they are worth their money. But I really want to get something um, decent, more decent uh, for for serious stuff because they have actually the, the still pictures look pretty nice. But as soon as you have movement and, and the faster the movement gets, it looks kind of crappy. They have like like all kinds of issues there, unfortunately. Otherwise, they are quite quite nice machines. They overheat. I actually made a video on YouTube where I um put heat sinks in mine and like uh, drilled holes on top to, to um, prevent it from overheating because the chip in there uh, that is upscaling uh, gets really hot. Hello Fsumil! One for Day of the Tentacle. Vic20 stream! I should do some! <laughs> Yeah, shrapnel. I I don't know. They are worth the money, I'd say. So if you if you only want them for for testing stuff purposes, um, go ahead. The, the picture quality is quite nice actually, but it it has some issues. It's not not very recommended. But I'm still looking for for a better solution myself. I think you won't get around to to around buying something that's a lot more expensive to get a proper quality. Day of the Tentacle. Yeah, actually, I might be playing that as soon as I have... Um, I have like an, an old Pentium 1 PC here that I need to refurbish. That would be the proper hardware to play that on. So I might do that at some point. But not at, at the moment I'm, I'm in... The process of refurbishing Amiga, my Amiga 2000, which isn't mine, but I'm, I'm recreating my Amiga 2000 setup. So next up is going to be some Amiga game, I think. Next week, maybe, yeah. I don't know if I can make it for next week. Um, Lure of the Temptress. I never played through that, actually. That would be nice. <laughs> no pressure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm, I'm. I have to focus a bit on making videos again for the YouTube thing, and then I'll come back um, as soon as I have finished another restoration, or halfway finished finished another restoration, and play games uh, on the the next one. Karen and the Tangled Tentacle on the Commodore 64. Never played that. <laughs> another world is another awesome game but I, I really suck at it <laughs> yeah I think there's nothing coming after this is there was it Monkey Island 2 where there's all kinds of funny bits that, that pop up after um, you're supposed to turn your computer off this is kind of boring, isn't it? <laughs> the ending. I bought an awesome laptop yesterday. An old one or a new one? Let me make. Uh, 
I'll definitely check out Karen and the Tangled Tentacle. That's awesome. Yeah, we should we should all go to sleep maybe, but it's a bit early. The stream, <laughs> the stream was a bit uh, brief today because I didn't remember that the game uh, was so close to the end. An old Toshiba 4070 CDS. Celeron 233. Yeah, that would be a nice, a nice machine to play on like Day of the Tentacle on. I could play it on my on my Dell laptop, which is in a Windows 98 machine that I refurbished. I repaired actually. There was a broken a blown capacitor in the power supply section. Uh, that I got for free from uh, the company next door, actually. They wanted to throw it away, and I thought, oh, that's a retro laptop. Pentium 1 laptop as well. Yeah, the hard just don't hold up very well. Yeah, I actually, I, I started the scum version of Day of the Tentacle. But it doesn't run very well on my Amiga 1200. I think my memory is too small. I have too too little RAM. I have like uh, 16 megabytes, I think, and it it demands at least 32 megabytes, I think, from what I've read. And the the AGA version with the extended graphics wouldn't start at all. And the ECS version was actually quite playable, but without sound and stuff. Start playing Zack right now. No, I think I'm going to do that. When I'm ready for it, I think I'm just going to going to say good night or good uh, evening for today because we finished this game, uh, and I'm going to dismantle my whole um, streaming setup here and uh, go back to repairing stuff and edit some video that is going to be released on my YouTube channel. But I definitely have to to do some more streams this month because I have to. Um, I'm so close to becoming an, a Twitch affiliate. Whatever that means, I think I can I can play more stuff and uh, have more control over everything, uh, which would be great. And there's like an achievement system and I have like four bars um, and I need one more bar. So I have to, I have to stream like seven days in one month. And I have like, this I think the, the fifth stream or something live msx repair <laughs> yeah uh, i think the only msx i have i actually have i have two msx machines but they both work so that's gonna be a bit boring uh i have something i have the an aldi c64 i'm working on i don't get anywhere with uh, that i could do some repair work on but not right now <laughs> It's MSX1, both MSX1 machines. It means you can have emotes, that's about it. Oh, okay. That's a bit boring. I don't even really understand the uh, emote thing, but I can have like little little icons of my own that I can give to people or something. Like. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah, the C64 icon. That's an emote, okay. <laughs> Any news of your C's one twenty eight? It did work. Oh, I didn't. Did I? Did I announce it? I think I said it in the in my Twitter that the um, C one twenty eight that I wanted to use for the Super Mario stream because the new version of Super Mario Brothers that was made for the C sixty four makes use of the C one twenty eight faster processor. I wanted to use that for the stream uh, because I hadn't seen it. Uh, played on a 128 at that point uh, and, and it broke down before I could start the stream so I had to play it on my C64 but uh, the C128 is actually okay it was just my self-made power supply the fuse was uh, blown actually the mains fuse in the um, power supply mains side fuse I think it was because I, I dropped it on the floor or something I, I, there was nothing electrically wrong with it and I used the C128 uh, yeah after that so that's the machine is absolutely fine it's just my just the fuse just the fuse <laughs> so um yeah I think that's it for today basically uh, and I'm going to be back I'm, I'm going to announce the next stream 
I have no idea what it's gonna be yet. But um, thank you all so much for, for um, joining me in this uh, playthrough of The Secret of Monkey Island. In my, on my original, on the machine, I experienced this game for the first time. When it was still my father's, and then it became my Amiga 500, and now, uh, yeah, it's refurbed and it is working. <laughs> Which is pretty nice. Yeah, thank you all. See you, hopefully see you again in the stream. You, you've been very nice in the chat and uh, yeah, this is a fun experience, so I'm definitely going to do this some more. Thanks, guys. See you all soon. Bye.